I'm gonna teach you how to design a Shopify store so fire, you never get another abandoned checkout again. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but it will be highly conversion rate optimized. And this is based on not just my experience, but I'm going to teach you what all the biggest e-commerce brands do on their stores to improve their conversion rate. Not only am I going to go step by step on how to design your own high converting template, but at the end of the video, I'm also going to export the template and give it to you guys for free. That way I've already done all the heavy lifting for you. All you need to do is import the template to your own Shopify store. All that I ask in return is that you subscribe and get the video to 250 likes. When that happens, I'm gonna post the link in the description and then you guys will have the high converting template for yourself. Guys, if you haven't signed up for Shopify already, go ahead and smash that affiliate link in the description. You're gonna get a free trial of Shopify plus your first month will just be $1. Okay, let's get into the video. Your website is what builds trust with the customer. And even if you have the best product and the best ads, if you have a bad website, you're not gonna be profitable. So a lot of you were commenting in my last video how I designed that store so good. And truthfully guys, if you do want the highest converting theme, you're going to have to pay for a premium theme. But these premium themes are gonna be anywhere from 150 to $350. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make the highest converting free theme. So what you want to do is sign up for Shopify, go ahead and hit skip all on all these questions. And then you're going to go to online store and themes. So in my experience, the best free theme is refresh. So that's what we're going to use for this video. Okay, so you might have seen the last video where I put up a checklist of things you need to add to your store to make it conversion rate optimized. We're gonna go through that same checklist today. One of the most important items on that checklist is designing your main product photo in Canva. Guys, please do not just take the photos from AliExpress and just use that as your product photos. Designing your main image in Canva sets you apart from competition and makes you look a lot more trustworthy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Canva, use the logo dimensions as those are what's right for Shopify, I just used a pop-ins font and I typed in the title of the product. In our case, we're gonna be doing it for this astronaut projector. Guys, I don't recommend running this product. It's just an example. It's super saturated. So astronaut projector, take some images that you find from online, try to find the most high res photo, drop that photo into Canva and delete the background. After you've done that, you wanna resize it, resize the title do a subtitle, then you want to add a background. Basically, then you want to add a background, add a shadow on the product. You can do that by duplicating it, adding a blur, making the blur black, play with the transparency. Then you want to find the right colors that match everything up nicely. You can see that I've played with the colors for some time here. So I sped up the footage to make it faster. Then once you've done that, it's starting to look pretty nice. One thing I like to do is add a review on the image. So take a review, make it short, and try to have that review address some sort of pain point. So you can see in this review, it's talking about helping people fall asleep faster, which adds that extra layer of social proof and shows that it's relieving some sort of pain point. Um, I added a trust badge as well because it just helps people trust the product more. And you can see that this is a lot better than this. Just designing your main product image in Canva will help your conversion rate so much, I promise you. All right, now that that's done, let's move on to the next item. Okay, so first things first, on The Realist, I need you guys to understand that when you're designing your store, you need to focus on mobile. So when you open up the editor on Shopify, it's gonna open up on desktop. I want you to go ahead and change that over to mobile. Mobile design is the most important thing because most of your traffic is gonna come on mobile. The next thing to keep in mind is that we're mostly gonna be focusing on designing the product page. So all the product pages will probably look the same if you have multiple products. And if you only have one product, then great. We just focus on designing that one product page. Okay, so the first few things we're gonna do, we're gonna pick a color scheme. So when we're picking our color scheme, Three colors maximum is perfect. If you go and look at all the top e-commerce brands, there's a reason why it's not full of all these colors. 
One other thing guys, never use a black background. I see way too many dropshippers use a black background and white text that looks terrible. Please don't use it. Now we've picked our color scheme and we've designed our image in Canva. Now let's move on to the next thing. Go ahead and delete this text right here where it says my store. We're going to move the variant picker underneath the add to cart button. Being able to view the add to cart on open when someone clicks on the page increases your conversion rate. So it's really important that you don't have to scroll to get to the buy button. You wanna have price and you wanna have reviews right there. In the announcement bar, we need to add some sort of scarcity. So one thing that I like to do is I like to say, please expect a one to two day shipping delay because of extreme order volume. What this does is it validates the product with social proof by saying, oh, they have extreme order volume. That means a lot of people are ordering that adds scarcity and social proof at the same time. And we're giving ourselves an extra one to two day delay on shipping, which helps us when we're ordering products from AliExpress. Guys, keep your headers small. That's taking up scroll space, which you desperately need to get to the buy button as soon as possible. When it comes to descriptions, I want you to keep this short, sweet, and simple. Nobody reads product descriptions and adding a bunch of text from AliExpress is certainly a big no-no. What you wanna do is have one to two sentences that just explain the product and then you wanna have bullet points of the main features and maybe a few other closing statements. You want the product to mainly tell the story itself through images and videos. And we're gonna do that by scrolling through the page and seeing pictures of the product with benefits and social proof, benefits and social proof. You wanna use this space to take out potential criticisms and address pain points and address reasons why people wouldn't buy. If people are scrolling this much, you need to use that space to really convince them to buy the product. Use the highest quality photos you have use images, use videos. I changed up the fonts on the store. My favorite font for Shopify stores is called ITC Avant Garde. Um, I use the bold one for the headings. And then you can see I changed up the header design and the announcement bar. And as you keep scrolling, I added this collapsible content. We're gonna use this to answer some questions about the product and hopefully convince people to buy with a little FAQ section. And then I have this video container here where we just have a video that I edited of some TikToks. And we put that video container underneath just to demonstrate the product. And then we added this image with text and I made sure to overlap it so it looks nice and clean. And guys, this is gonna be the main product page template. Of course, we're still gonna fill all this blank information in and we're gonna add apps. And those apps are gonna make the store look much more alive. So we still need to add some review apps, make sure those reviews look really good and maybe a bundle app as well. And guys, remember, get this video to 200 likes and I'm gonna drop the link in the description for the theme file. All you'll have to do is just import the file into your store and your product page will look exactly like mine. Then you just change up and swap out the information for the product that you're using and store design will be so much faster. So guys, check the description for that link. Okay, let's move on to the apps we need to add to our store. There's literally plenty of apps that I could recommend. There's so many apps for your Shopify store. You guys feel free to add and test whatever you think will increase your conversion rate. But for this store, I'm gonna talk about two essential apps that I use on all my stores. The first one is called Kaching Bundles and I use this app to manage all my bundle offers. Um, when I'm drop shipping, I like to use bundles because they increase your AOV and your profit margin and with this app, it'll help your conversion rate as well. So basically, this is how I like to set up the bundles. I like to make it look nice by color matching it to the theme of the store. And I like to add this estimated shipping time because we can help clarify that for the customer with this app. And you can see that it looks really nice. And I found this app to increase the conversion rate. So I always use this app. It comes with a 14 day free trial. So it's pretty much free while you're testing out anyway. The second app is a review app. Um, I like this one right now, it's called Trust2 Reviews. Um, I like this one because it has this verifier purchase thing. Um, I think the reviews look really nice. For the review app, basically guys, what you wanna do is just make sure your reviews look real. Just kind of curate the right reviews for your store. You can go ahead and import a ton of reviews and then just Select the ones that look the best and use those. Trust me, it will do more for your conversion rate than anything else we've talked about is having real looking reviews. 
I can't talk about this enough. You want to have great looking reviews on your site because that will sell your customer anything more than what you can say about the product. Okay guys, that pretty much completes the store. So here's how the product page looks on mobile. Remember, we're mainly just designing a product page for mobile. That is the most important thing. Obviously all of those other details will fill in later, but when you're testing products, the most important thing is that mobile product page. So this is what it looks like. You can see I filled in the collapsible content with the FAQs. I added a video. Um, I color matched everything. I used nice fonts and I added real looking reviews at the bottom. And hopefully you guys can see why this format converts the best. So basically I'm gonna export this theme file and then once this video gets to 250 likes, I'm gonna just give you guys that theme file in the description. You can just import it and you won't have to do any of the store design. The format will already be done, the fonts, the colors, everything will be the same as I just did because I'm gonna give you guys that file for free. So be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.